Hey everyone, welcome to 2 Minutes Tuesday. This week we are going to look into Azure OpenAI Studio. Let's get started. So the URL for the OpenAI Studio is oai.azure.com. Once you have signed in uh, to your Azure account, you should be able to see the screen. Uh, initially you can see there are a lot of get started. So there is a chat playground, com completion playground, DALI playground, bring your own data. There are some common examples that you can try out, which is like customer support agent, writing assistant, summarize an article or create an uncover art. So the first one we'll look into is chat. So you can see this here, it comes with a default template. You can add a message here, or you can use the existing ones here. So for example, let's do take Xbox. So from the configuration aspect, if you have multiple models or deployment models, you could choose um, and the number of uh, tokens it is used and then if you go into the parameters you can fine-tune it and um, it can gives you much more access so moving on to this tab here you can see add your own data so you can click on add data source and then you can bring in uh, these types of data that you could use for your chat so the next one is completions uh, here you can see it could use to generate an email so when you give certain context and click generate, it's going to do that. And also it will mention the number of tokens that are being used. Um, so the next one is DALI Playground, uh, where you give a prompt and it's going to generate an image. In this case, I tried with an example, painting of Seattle skyline featuring the Space Needle and Mountain Rainer. And you can see the image is already there. So moving on to the managements, you have deployments, uh, where you can create a new deployment. That's what the models that you could use. So here it gives you an option to choose the model. So pick one of the models, in this case, I'm, I don't have Turbo 4 or Turbo 4.5, but uh, if you are eligible, you should see that. But you could choose the model, give a deployment name, and then if there is any content filter, you can choose it here, uh, click Create, and these are the models that will be available within your studio. The models, these are the models that are provided by Azure. If you have any custom models, you can add it here, but mostly this is out of the box. Third one is data files. And these are more like the data sets that are used for training your model. So more like bring your own data and then you can push the data set and use that for training your model or fine tuning it. The next one is uh, quotas where you can see the number of tokens available for each of the models. The last one we are looking at is the content filters where you can add certain filters or block list and that could be used in your models. That's a quick walk around the Azure OpenAI Studio. That's all for this week. See you next week with another topic. Thank you.